To Django, he cannot really play wrong note. I'm gonna demonstrate that. It's how you play it and how you commit to it. But Ron's gonna play a beautiful C major chord, C major seven. With some swing, yeah. I'm gonna start with the root. That's definitely not a clam. There's no set, right? Okay, now I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna play the nine. I'm gonna stick. This is a great exercise, by the way. Play the scale. You get, you get the sound in your head. I'm gonna play the three. The four, the sus four. Is that a clam? It's a little bit of a tension note. It's the sus, it usually wants to go to the three. I'm gonna play the five. I'm just demonstrating all the chord tones of the scale and the six. Jangle go. And of course the major seven. And the root. A good exercise, keep going Ron. Flat nine. Django would hit some pretty funky notes, but again, that's what made Django Django. And then the flat three. Mm. Yeah, see, yeah, that's what I got. I like the flat three. But you might do this. And like, there's a flat three against the mi major, see? And just like, it sounds convincing, it sounds exotic. Because it's, it, it creates, well, theoretically, it creates a bluesy effect. But here's a flat nine. So again, it's theoretically not correct. Here's a sharp 11, the sharp four. I love that note. That makes it bluesy, flat five, or Lydian. Now I'm really gonna make it not a clam by leaning into that note over and over. <laughs> Back to that flat nine. These are now they're no longer sounding like clams because I'm really leaning into it. Here's that flat three. And here's a sharp five. G sharp. That sounds great in passing like this. But see, I like that. But one, one more, one more note we haven't hit yet. Out of twelve notes, it's a flat seven. Notice how I'm hitting it. There's that major seven. You're not supposed to have a flat seven against a major seven chord. That sounds pretty good. Sounds kind of bluesy to me. Flat five. Flat three. <laughs> so again, I can do this. It's so much fun, so beautiful. This is a great exercise. Do this on every chord, whether it's major, dominant, or minor. Just you have 12 notes to really experiment with and get those colors. I started off with that demonstration by staying on the major scale, you know, and really just playing each, each one of those has its own flavor. And then it's gonna be diatonic and um, uh, inside sounding. And then you get the notes that are not in the scale. And that's where you can have those possibilities of creating those cool dissonances. So if you want to have a little bit of your own style and bring out some unique flavors, shoot for those notes, you know, play a lick that's inside, meaning in the key and the scale, and then land on a note <laughs> and play it like you mean it. That's <laughs> what I think Django really did quite a bit and have these unique character tones that made it Django.